All right, before I forget, it was a uh, petrified piece of wood. It was yellow seed pods from a plant with a beautiful pink flower and a picture of an owl. And owls are not very active during the day. So to find a picture of an owl is a uh, pretty good well, find. Do you ever hope that your predictions are wrong? Well, here I am wishing that my predictions were not correct. But that water has come all the way up here. In fact, as I stepped right there, I can feel it kind of mushing down. However, I do have at least the option of, as the water flows down this way, it might stop it from coming to me. But it's actually encroaching much quicker than I had anticipated. As I captured another beautiful sunset, little did I know that there were going to be some chance encounters that were going to change the last few days that I spent at Fort Sumner, New Mexico. With a full moon rising, I knew that I was going to have an opportunity to capture an owl that I had been listening to over the last couple of nights. <coughs> Unfortunately, I was also able to capture dogs barking, but if you listen, there is a faint owl off in the distance as well. Little did I know that my perceived accomplishments were going to be outdone by a couple of middle schoolers the next day. Even though the full moon provides great lighting for this picture, it is a low light picture and any movement will cause blur. Unfortunately for me, just before my camera captured a perfect image of him looking directly at me, he turned his head and flew off. I just had the pleasure of meeting a group of kids from Melrose Middle School in Melrose, New Mexico, and they were on a field trip for the day, and they had a contest that they were running, and it was three categories. They had to find the best rock, best animal, best plant, and uh, I had an opportunity to judge that, and I hope that they believed that I was as fair as I could be. The three categories, again, uh, the winner for the rock category was a couple of girls who found a perfectly preserved piece of petrified wood. The plant category was a couple of girls who found and picked up some uh, yellow um, seed pollen from a plant that had a very beautiful pink flower. And the animal category was a couple of boys who got a picture of an owl. And considering they're nocturnal animals, that's actually a pretty good find for the animal category. Congratulations, guys, and I appreciate the opportunity. While the full moon did provide me an opportunity to see quite a few things during the night, on this particular night, it provided me an opportunity to see something that I was not really enthusiastic about. Not real sure what to uh, think about this because it looks like I'm going to have to move here pretty quick. I've got a lot of water coming in. This area had rain, so absolutely no rain. In fact, this is the same park that the Melrose Middle School students were playing in earlier. 
have been several families that have come in and played. And then I remember the last family that left, which I, it wasn't really a red flag, but it was odd. The couple was sitting on that bench right there and their kids were playing. And uh, that, they, they started look, kind of looking right, left, like what, what's going on? Is, is that, you know, something, whatever, you know? I mean, it was, a, it was an alert that I noticed. And then all of a sudden the kids and everybody got up and left and they all walked almost single file out right there and so what my concern is is as this water comes in now I'm stepping down almost two or three feet if it continues over and comes down here is it going to run off down towards the lake which is what I would expect or is it going to fill up this entire area where I'm camping right now. So, I'm keeping an eye on it, but I have a feeling I'm not going to be sleeping here tonight. Not if that keeps up. That is odd. So I asked someone from the city if um, this was normal. And basically what they told me was, yes, it is in fact normal that they irrigate the fields in the area and in some cases it, it floods other areas that uh, in this case might preclude people from coming to the park. And because I'm so close to this area, I might have to move tonight. I did in fact have to move, but it wasn't until the next day, after I met a good friend of mine, Jamie, who I highlighted in three previous videos, respectively titled, Jamie Jams For You, Jamie Jams For You Too, and Jamie Jams For You As Well. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my high Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Can you dig it, fool? 